Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is part two of the overlapping circles. So the part one was just creating a spinner that has eight parts, and I have that here. And then part two is finishing it off, okay? Um, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna create a, another circle that's centered on the, on the same center of this circle. And this circle is gonna be two inches a radius have a radius of two inches so there's my two inch radius and I'm gonna come here I'm gonna hold use that guy to hold this down okay and then I'm finding that little notch there and I'm gonna create a very light circle here very light because I'm gonna erase it when I'm done with it right now what I'm really trying to do is Let's see, that moved on me a little bit, so I'm gonna correct it. There we go. What I, all I really am focused on here is measuring off of the center two inches. So this right here, if I looked with a ruler, I should, even, even though it looks weird, this is actually should be right in the center. It should be two inches from here to here and two inches from here to here. Now the size of these kind of messes with the look of it, but if I lined up my ruler, you're gonna see there's my zero, there's two inches and four inches, okay? So all I really wanted to do here was focus on these guys, because I'm gonna create eight circles that have center points two inches from the inside of this circle. And you're going to see what magic happens. I think it's pretty cool, actually. So it doesn't matter which one I find first. I'm just coming right here. And I'm going to create a circle. There's my two-inch mark. You go in a little bit, and you can see it matches up. I'm two inches from the center, and it matches up. It's going to take me right to the center of the large circle and to the outside of it because that whole thing is four inches and my circle is two inches both ways then i'm done with that one okay i might want to erase that now that i'm done with it because it'll help me remember that i'm done with it okay and then i'm going on to number two here once again i'm finding that two inch mark and I'm not slowing down too much here okay and I've got circle number two I'm gonna go ahead and erase this now because it's it doesn't matter to me and it'll help me remember where I've been and I'm going on to number three Now, does this have to make perfect sense to you? Do you have to understand exactly why I'm doing what I'm doing? No, not right now. The more that you play with this, the more you'll see the patterns that keep showing up. So really, I just want you to be playing with it right now. Okay, I've got another circle, two inches wide, two inches wide. So it goes right to the inside and the outside of my original. I keep saying that probably until you're sick of it. Okay, I'm on my third. I'm gonna find that two inch mark. And I'm creating my, oh, this is my fourth circle. Fourth circle. Okay, I'm gonna erase it so I know I'm done with it. And I'm still spinning this. You can see what's happening here. Now I'm getting these overlapping circles. Two inch radius here. Okay, I've got another one. Erase. I'm on my that was my fifth, so I've got three more. Keep moving. Get your centered. You can see what's happening there. I hope it's happening on your sheet, but if not, don't be discouraged. You're gonna come back to it. Okay. Another one. Uh, I can erase it. I've got two more. 
and then I just have a whole lot of erasing to do and that's why you draw real light once again math and pencils gotta use pencils there's my seventh you can see all these patterns that are happening now I think it's really cool but and hopefully if you picked it you think it's really cool too and then finally got my last circle Okay, so right now it's pretty cool. It's sort of a mess. And, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase the straight lines that started to create my angles here. I'm gonna erase every one of those straight lines. So there's four lines going all the way through. I'm gonna erase all of them. Okay, but I'm also going to erase this circle inside here to hide what the whole reason I used it was just to find all those points that were two inches away from the middle. And so I'm gonna erase that and these center lines, okay? So you start to see a much cleaner piece here. And then I'm gonna show you what this is going to look like when it's all erased. That's the idea, okay? So that's a clean erased piece and uh, the one you have on a wall will also have some more color to that but that's the idea that we're going for you can see all these overlapping parts create these equal slices or i don't know they look like flowers a little bit petals um any way you can look at it so good luck i'll see you soon